Welcome folks, before I solve a question in chemistry and uh, the topic of organic chemistry. Now this topic is defined as the, the branch of science which talks about the organic compounds. Now the question reads, butene, we are given the chemical formula C4H8, is a compound belonging to the alkene series, so we are dealing with alkene family. Now before we look at the questions, first let me see if I can look at some basics that may be of help. So first I'm going to just look at the valence number for carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Carbon is in group 4, therefore carbon has a valence of 4. Now how can we use the valence 4 to our advantage in organic chemistry? The valence number can be used to determine the number of bonds that can be formed from a given element. For example, carbon can form four bonds. That's why you are able to see these bonds. So one, two, three, four. Then oxygen is in group six. Elements in group six have the valence of two. So oxygen likes to form two bonds. Then if you look at hydrogen, it has a valence of one then it forms one bond. So that is the, the importance of knowing the valence number for an element. Then after that, let's look at the, the prefix. It's very important you master the prefix. So the prefix is the first part of a name given to an organic compound that determines the number of bonds, I mean that determines the number of carbons that molecule has for example we have methane so we just say meth meth has one which is is equal to n is equal to one so whenever we have methane then it me it simply means that molecule has a one carbon then the second one we have eth two where n is equal to two then a prop three n is equal to 3. But 4, n is equal to 4. Pent 5, n is equal to 5. Then hex 6, n is equal to 6. Hept uh, we have 7, n is equal to 7. Then opt. 8, n is equal to 8. Then you have none. So it's 9, n is equal to 9. Then we have deck 10, n is equal to 10. So at least you should be able to memorize these prefixes. So that is the importance of prefixes. Now what of suffix? So if we are to bring in suffix, the suffix is the end part of a name which determines the type of bond an element, I mean a compound has. For example, if you look at the suffix for ANE, so whenever you see ANE, it means that such a molecule belongs to an alkene. Then if the suffix is A, I mean ENE, then we are dealing with an alkene. If we have uh, like OL, it's an alcohol. If we have OIC, that is a uh, carboxylic acid. So that is uh, the use of uh, the suffix. Now, <clears throat> after knowing this, let's look at uh, the first question. So the first question is state the general formula for the alkenes. So the formula that I'm going to write here can be used to, to write the chemical formula for any alkene molecule. So the formula is C, N. So remember, N is the number of carbon, then H, two times N. So this is the general formula. So now, how do we use formula like this? So if I write my chemical formula C, N, I mean general formula H to N. So let's say we want to come up with the chemical formula for this. So I'm going to focus on it, the first part, which is but. We say but is the prefix which determines the number of carbons a molecule has. So if we go on this list, but, 
simply means that it is on position number 4, n is equal to 4. So, if I put where there is n, we put 4, and we do some math, we are going to see what we are going to get. So, c times 4, we get c4, then 2 times 4, we have 8. So, this is how this formula came into existence. So, that is the use of the prefixes. Now, we move on to question B. Draw the displayed formula of the second member of the series. Now, for us to draw the displayed formula, first we need to come up with the molecular formula. Now, how can we write the molecular formula? So, we are going to use the same general formula since we are looking at the same family. So, is C N H to N. Now, we are told for the second member. So, whenever we are told this, it means that N is equal to 2. So we are looking at this part here. So let's put where there is any. We put 2. Then 2 times 2. So C times 2 will have C2. Then 2 times 2 will have CH4. So this is our chemical formula. But the question is we want a displayed formula. So how can we write the displayed formula? So you begin by writing the number of carbons. So how many carbons are there? We have only two carbons. So you write the two carbons. Then if we go back, we are dealing with an alkene. Uh, e and E. So if there is E and E, you need to write at least C double bond. So we are going to put a double bond in between the carbon carbon atoms. So remember, the double bond is only written between the two carbon atoms you can't put them be between the hydrogen and carbon that is totally wrong then we put two extra uh, bonds for this one so that we have the total number of four bonds remember we said carbon likes to form four bonds so here we have four bonds as well then so the four atoms of hydrogen will be placed here so this is our displayed uh, structure Right, we move on to question uh, C. Butene is prepared by cracking petroleum oils. Name the other method by which it may be prepared. So we can uh, prepare butene, we we'll say, uh, by dehydration. So remember, dehydration is the removal of water, mole uh, water molecules. So by dehydration of butano. So, butano is an alcohol. So, if we can remove an, uh, if we can uh, remove a water molecule from an alcohol, it reverses into an alkene plus water. So, to summarize the point, if you have butano, you remove water, you get butene. If you have ethano, you remove water, you get ethene. So, the key point is uh, dehydration changes an alcohol back to an alkene. So, that's easy. Another way in which you can prepare some of these uh, molecules. We move on to question D. Uh, but one in can be polymerized. So now look at this time we have been given a number. So this number tells us the position of the double bond. So when dealing with the structure, you don't have to put the double bond anywhere. You need to put the double bond according to the location, which is the locant, which is one. Right, we'll see what this simply means. So, one, name the type of polymerization it undergoes. So, as long as it is an alkene, E and E, all alkenes undergoes addition polymerization. So, that's the concept here. So, it's addition polymer, polymerization. Then, for Roma number two, Draw and give the name of the polymer formed from but one. Show at least three repeating units. So the concept is how do we name polymers? So let's begin with a uh, equation. So I'm going to write an equation. So an equation goes like this. So I'm going to begin with monomer. So the monomer are smaller units that you are combining to form a polymer. So remember, a polymer is a large macro molecule. So monomer plus uh, another monomer plus another monomer. So I'm going to use three monomers. Why? 
Am I using three monomers? We are told at least three repeating units. So that's what it means. Then the product is the polymer. Now what is the monomer? So the monomer is the molecule that you are using to form that polymer. In our case, we are using beauty one. So let me first ignore for one. Let me just say butene plus another butene plus another butene. Then how do you name polymer? So the polymer, you first write the prefix. The first part of a polymer is poly. Then you add the name of the monomer that you use. So polybutene, if propene, polypropene polyethene so that's a pattern then we move on to at least we were given the chemical formula so the chemical formula is c4 h8 plus c4 h8 plus c4 h8 All right then what are we supposed to do we'll first add the the carbons together so for plus 4, plus 4, which is, I'm getting 12. So I'll say 12 hydrogen, I mean 12 atoms of carbon. Then what of hydrogen? We are going to add 8 plus 80, 16 plus 80 will give us 24. So this is how you can write the molecular formula for this one. Now for the structure, for the structure, uh, I'm going to write like this. So I'll say C. I'll put my double bond here. Another C. Another C. Another C. Remember, we are dealing with four, four carbons. Then here we we'll put <coughs> so we have one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Then instead of writing this ready to avoid maybe taking time or space, I can just put this in parentheses. Then I'll put n here, which is n is equal to how many repeating units are we looking at? Is three. So this is the shortened way of uh, writing this. Then to write the polymer, I'm going to write. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So when writing the polymer, make sure you don't have to write the double bond. So the double bond is broken, or the double bond, all the double bonds are broken down into single bonds to accommodate the hydrogen atom. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. So we can see then on this bond you don't have to put anything. So that's the concept. So we have <coughs> answered this question. So the question was draw and give the name of the polymer. So the name of the polymer is this one, polybutene. Then the structure with repeat three repeating units. See, this is what we have done on this part. Now we move on to question E. Butene reacts with steam in the presence of a catalyst to form a catalyst compound. Name the compound D formed. So the point is, what happens if you add steam, which is water, to an alkene? So this becomes an alcohol. So butene becomes butano. So that's a pattern. If it's propene, propano. Ethene, ethano. Pentene, pentano. So that's a pattern. So the key point is, whenever you add steam to an alkene, you form an alcohol. Now for the last question, Write a balanced chemical equation for the reaction between ethanoic acid and the compound named in E1 above include state symbols. Alright, so let me first get rid of this. 
Now, if you look at uh, the reaction that we are now looking at, we are looking at the reaction between an acid and an alcohol. Now, according to organic chemistry, what name is given to such a reaction? So this is what we call esterification. Now, during esterification, what are we going to, to have as a product? So this is where now esters are formed. So this is just the process by which esters are formed from the addition of an acid to an alcohol. So the formula goes like this. So we are going to say, so let me use uh, organic language. So we have an alkano. This is an acid. I mean, this is an alcohol plus alkanoics, an acid. What are we going to have? We are going to have alkanoate. So whenever you see oet, it means this is an ester plus water. So water is also produced. Then the equation we are looking at is butano, right? So we have butano plus ethanoic acid. So now how do you name an ester? So first you look at the alcohol, regardless where the alcohol is. So from the alcohol, I'm going to get the, uh, the prefix, which is but. So you begin by the prefix of the alcohol, but, then what are we supposed to do? You add YL, so that's a rule. So this becomes butyl, pent, pentyl, eth, ethyl, meth, methyl. Then what happens now to, to this one? So for this one, I'm going to get the, the prefix, so F from the acid, AN indicates that we, are, we, are, we only have single bonds. So I add AN for single bonds. Then I'm going to add O, A, T, which shows that this is an ester plus water. So this is how you name esters. So it's butyl ethanoate. Now we are told for equation. So what is the chemical formula for butane? So the formula for alcohols is CN H2N plus 1 or H. Now since we are dealing with E, but so but we say D N is equal to 4. So C times 4 is C4. 2 times 4, 8 plus 1, 9. So this is the molecular formula. So I'm going to write it here. C4, H9, OH. What of ethanoic acid is CH3, COOH. Then from the acid, from... Let's say from the alcohol, I'm going to remove OH. Then from the acid, I'm going to remove hydrogen so that I can form the molecule of water. Then whatever that remains is the molecular formula. So it's C4H9. Then we have COOH3C plus H2O. Maybe for... Let me see if I can add more light. Then the best way to see this one, no? I'm sure let's maybe look at the the picture. And uh, I have this topic of organic chemistry, so you can just look for that one. No? It's uh, well simplified, you'll be able to understand. So just search organic chemistry from my channel, you'll be able to understand this topic here because I've covered everything. We've looked at the polymerization, both addition and condensation. We look at the alcohols. So you can have a look at that. Right. So now in terms of the structure, so one, one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then we have OH. So the nine hydrogen atoms will be placed here. 
right so this is our structure plus in. so the coup I'm going to begin with the coup so I'm going to write hydrogen then we have this one then we have carbon or H then C H3 so this is the structure of our ethanoic acid so what you do we said you get rid of from this you get rid of hydroxide then from this I just get rid of the hydrogen so then the remaining part is what I'm going to write so say one two three four so this is the first part the alcohol part and as you can see organic chemistry is uh, simple you just have to follow the rules and uh, make sure you master the basics then this remaining bond half bond will be bonded to this then this is the bond that i have or then we have carbon we put our this part then carbon then we will have hydrogen another hydrogen so this is the structure plus the let's just say water this is the structure of our ester so this is how you can answer a question like this so if this video will makes a difference in your life please uh, leave a comment in the comment section uh, below and uh, subscribe and also hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out right so that's it for this video thanks for watching